Hey everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on single in placing. Hi, hello. And as you can see, today we've got an unboxing. It is Tuesday, so it's that time. Um, so um, another thing that you can probably see from the packaging, we are talking about a Diamond Art Club kit that I've been really excited to share with everyone ever since it came in, but I've been pacing myself with cracking open uh, these kits and uh, just kind of saving them for the unboxings. I've got a couple kits that I'm going to have to do kind of a re-unboxing because I got a little too excited when I first started getting some kits in and I was like I'm just gonna open it I'm too excited I'm opening it and I never recorded any sort of unboxing so I still want to share those kits with everyone um, so eventually we will get there but we're working on the stuff that's still in their nice boxes um, so let's go ahead and crack this open I hope everyone's having an excellent week thus far um, the, at the time of this recording, we are just a little ways into June and I'm, um, working on Soul of the Rose from Distracted by Diamonds and loving it. Um, I've just been hanging out with Apollo and diamond painting when I have some time. He's definitely been a handful and it's one of the, it's also one of the reasons why I wanted to share this canvas because, um, I got this canvas before I got Apollo. And if you don't know, I got a puppy a couple of weeks ago. Um, he is now 14 weeks old, 15 weeks old, um, like three and a half months. And he's a half husky, half Malamute little pupper. And so um, he's down underneath the table right now. I'm not sure if we'll be able to say hi, but he says hi. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and crack this open. This is actually... Da -da 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 -da. Fisher Gal by Ivy Dolamore. Um, Ivy Dolamore is probably my favorite Diamond Art Club artist um, thus far. And this is a square drill canvas, 56 by 74 centimeters. Um, so yeah, um, and you can tell they're square drills. You've got the square diamonds logo here, and then it's that blue reflective image with uh, that pattern, I guess, a blue reflection. <laughs> and then this image up top lets you know that you're working on a square drill canvas. So on the back, you've got some basic how-to, um, you know, your basic stuff there. Um, let me see if turning this down might reduce that glare a little bit. Um, I might have to edit that slightly, do a little color correction, but let's go ahead and crack this open. I've got my pink ombre, um, tweezers from Diamond Art Club that I'm trying to use to open this plastic because I did not bring the knife in with me today. Let's go ahead and sheath those. I don't want to hurt myself. Okay, so yeah, I hope everyone's having an excellent week. And um, if you're doing an event, I think this is the this is the season of events, it seems like. Um, so if you're doing an event, make sure to comment what you're working on and what event you're participating in because um, I'd love to hear about them. I'm doing summer with the masters right now and loving that so just going to set that excess plastic off to the side so we can crack this open pull it off the camera uh, but yeah i've just been hanging with the pup doing a lot of walks some hikes um, teaching him how to swim um, here we've got a toolkit oops we've also got our little mini sticker here and then we have our canvas in its cover. So this looks like it has one of Diamond Art Club's older toolkits. The newer ones have a kind of a yellow packaging, um, but it's the main difference is you're not going to get washi tape or cover minders in it. So, um, but this is the kind of classic kit. Let's just dump it all out. And so we can go through what's in here. It's been a minute since I've gotten an older uh, toolkit. <laughs> Um, okay, so we've got uh, baggies, a bunch of baggies that you can use for storing excess drills or diamonds. So you've got those. We also have our uh, diamond painting pen with a little bit of something on it. Um, this diamond painting pen has a single placer, so you can use that to place one drill or diamond at a time. And then they also give you an included multi-placer. This allows you to place four drills at one time. You just pop it on there and then you're pretty much ready to rock and roll, but you do need some wax. So these are two plates or pieces of heart wax. Looks like this one got a little munched up in manufacturing, um, but you'll just remove this plastic backing and then you just uh, um, insert a little bit of wax into the tip here and into the tip here. And that will allow you to um, have the adhesion or adhesiveness needed to pick up the drills out of 
your diamond painting tray. So you're gonna place your diamonds or your drills in this tray, give it a little shake so they're shiny side up, and then place one at a time or four at a time. Boom, boom, boom. Pretty easy. It's been a while since I've seen this tray too. I'm used to seeing it with gold um, glitter. The, the new version has like a gold flaked tray. I actually like this one better. Um, you also have a squishy to make using your diamond painting pen a little bit more comfortable. So there you go. And then you also get a set of tweezers. This comes in square drill kits. You can place your square drills um, individually out of your tray with the tweezers if you're really good. Um, some people can even place multiple drill, uh, multiple diamonds at a time, but I mainly use these to adjust my uh, diamonds once they're placed. If one's a little wonky or a little cockeyed, then I can straighten them out with this um, with the tweezers. So I kind of like these black tweezers. So that's that. Like I said, we also have our little mini sticker. You can use this to put on your box. I see a lot of people doing this. Um, they'll place it either on this QR code or here on this side or on this side. That way, if they're stacking um, their kits in their closet or something like this, they can look at it from the side and see what kit it is. So this is good if you are um, uh, have like a collection of diamond paintings. So um, I, I guess I technically do, but I don't do this. I probably should because I had to really sift through my kits to find this because the image was covered up. Um, so there's that. I've seen other people make fun like creative artwork and stuff with this or little like trinkets with these images. So I think that's cool. I might, you know what I might do is like start cutting the little image out and putting it like on the, on either like I don't know, I wish I had like plexiglass over this table or something that I could put them on just to remind myself of which kits I've done. So I don't know, I might find something fun to do with these. Okay, so main event here is the kit here. Like I said, we're working with the Square Drill Canvas uh, 56 by 74 by Ivy Dolomar. It's called Fisher Gal. And I finished um, Ivy Dolomar's Midnight Laundromat a few weeks ago. And I absolutely loved not only that kit, in the uh, Diamond Art Club's rendering, but her artwork is just right up my alley. It's so cute, it's fun. I don't know, I'm just really enjoying it. Um, I even went so far as to find a mystery kit that they did a while back. I found a private seller that was selling theirs, so that should be here in a couple of days. Um, but anyway, so fell in love with it, so now I'm pretty much on a mission to collect any and all Ivy Dolomar kits that I can get my hands on. Um, as to be expected, the canvas here is that really soft kind of velvety finished canvas. Um, you have uh, your scalloped edges here that are also um, surged or have the holes punched in them to prevent fraying. So let's get the drills out of here so we can reveal this canvas. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Is it the right way up? Nope. Okay. We might have, it, have to do it this way just so we can get the entire image. Yes, 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 and more yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so cute. It's so cute. Awesome. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me go ahead and um, I'm going to roll this backward. This is backwards. This is poured glue, meaning it's a little bit more resilient than some other styles of adhesives that they use on diamond paintings. So it can flex and bend a little bit more readily. So I'm going to go ahead and roll it backwards. That's going to allow it to lie slightly more flat so we can kind of get a nice clear picture. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm in love as per usual. <laughs> um, I mean, I buy my own, you know, I, I shop for my own canvases, so you'd think I wouldn't be surprised when they come in or when I actually see them, but there, there is something different about seeing the artwork in person in its full size versus seeing like the little thumbnail or image on your computer or on your phone. There's just, there's just so much more detail and it's so much more um, impactful seeing it in person. And then with the drills on it, that's when it really comes alive. So, um, all right, so you, as you can see, I went ahead and rolled this back on itself. So let's go ahead and unfurl. Uh, I did an okay job of flattening, not the best, but um, Diamond Art Club's canvases will lay flat on their own after a few minutes. Sometimes I'll even leave my kits overnight. Um, with some books on them or something like that just to get them lay, to lay flat. To get them to lay even more flat and remove these wrinkles in your 
um, cover, your plastic cover, you can pull it back and then kind of re-flatten it down to remove those. And that'll help to alleviate some of the wrinkles, but I typically don't do that, um, especially with how I store these, which we'll talk about. So um, there is the majority of that image here. Um, Wish I could get it all in frame straight up and down, but as you can see, you've got um, the Fisher gal there and she's got, I'm gonna do it this way, um, so bear with uh, with me while we take a look at it from that angle. Um, let me see if I can zoom this out, one moment. Okay, how's that? That's slightly better. You can get a little bit more of the image there. Um, we're still missing a slight amount pretty much right here where my hands are, but that's gonna give you a pretty good idea of it as long as you can you can see kind of the tops of her shoes. Um, let's see. I, I know I'm fussing with this far too much, but you can you get the idea, I hope. <laughs> um, maybe I'll just do one more little boop. Okay, cool. That That's good. I think that's as good as we're going to get. Anyway, so um, some of the, the unique um, or something that I found interesting here is you kind of have her little carrying jugs here. You um, She's got a case with her or another container here. Her backpack, her little moped. I love kind of the urban scene with the mountains in the background. It's very cool. Even down to like some of the more urban details like the power lines. I just find that just really unique and cool for um, diamond painting. So, and then of course she's got her little buddy on her back there. And that was kind of the thing that I got this kit and I was like, that's a cute little dog. And now I have one of my own. He doesn't have the markings on the red markings on his face, but um, he looks pretty darn close to that. I'll have, if I can't get him to uh, say hello on um, this video, then I'll just have to insert a picture of my little buddy um, because I've got, he's, she's got a little Apollo on her back and now I do too. So anyway, hi friend, hi baby. He's looking around like, uh, can we do something? So anyway, now let's go ahead and dive into the uh, drills here. Um, other thing that you're gonna have is um, a how-to guide, a more in-depth how-to guide um, with some discount information um, for your next purchase here in this little pamphlet. And then you're also gonna have your um, larger image here and then your color code. We've got 54 colors here, two ABs. Uh, with Diamond Art Club, any uh, color code under 150, I believe, is going to be an Aurora Borealis or extra special shiny drill. So total of 54 colors, a lot of muted hues here, nothing too bright or neon, lots of greens, grays, browns, that type of thing. But I really love the colors that um, Ivy Dolomore has used in the hair. And as you can see, the little pupper's got some can see if we can get close there, has some um, little markings on his face. Super cute little buddy. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and crack these drills open so we can review them. I'm going to mute you for a moment while I do the crinkly part of this, so hang tight. Okay, so that is everything. Um, we're gonna go through these colors color by color just so you can take a look. Um, I believe Diamond Art Club organizes all their colors by size, so you have the most um, to least going through your strips. Um, what I am noticing right off the bat is there is a lot of colors that just have a little bit. And what I can see from the canvas, there is a significant amount of color blocking, especially kind of in the bottom half. Oops. Paul, are you gonna just knock the camera over, all the way over? Um, the bottom half of the canvas has a significant amount of color blocking. Dude, <laughs> and then again, up on the sky, he is all curled up around this tripod. Oh my goodness. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and crack into it. We have um, 3731, or 3371. Oh my gosh, 3371, kind of a chocolatey brown. Two bags of those, 301, one bag, and 317, one bag. So that was kind of a little short strip. 37.99, we've got two bags of that. 38.60, we have four bags of 38.60. 4.52, one bag. 141 is our first AB. This is kind of the classic white AB. Anyway, sorry about that. He is getting, he's getting a little feisty in here. I'm gonna have to speed this up. 775, one bag, 38.61, one bag, 413, two of those, 453, 938, two bags, 310, 
three bags. I was expecting a lot more in this kit because there's a lot of outlining, but three bags of 310. Then we have 844, two bags of that. Okay, <laughs> my goodness. All right, 400, 779, 300, 823, 3808, 356, 3771, 3778, 807, 3817, 414, 3325, 712, 3848, 740, 645, 503, 754, 336, and our second AB 132, kind of a neon orangey yellow kind of AB. Really cool. I'm curious to know where that's going to go. Um, oh, that's pretty obvious because there's not a ton of bright colors here. We have some detailing. Let me get this. Detailing here in one of the containers, on her gloves, on her little armband. And it looks like her little apron or kind of decorative piece on her pants. So cool. That other AB um, number two, that white AB is going to be used all in the puppy's face. A lot of highlighting up here in the sky, um, in her eyeball or eyes um, here on this container. Um, oh my gosh, this this dog, he's he's done. He's had enough. <laughs> so let me get through the rest of this. This will probably be a short wrap up to this video. 935, 3721, 934, 898, 221, 312, 646. 322, 3064, 699. Ooh, I love that green. 904, 700, 977, 702, 3847. Oh, another nice color. 3857, 632, 3830, 3772, and whoops, 318. Wanted to fly out of my hands. So there you go, 54 colors with two ABs. A really unique kit, and like I said, I'm loving Ivy Dolomore's artwork. I love this kind of urban scene, and like I said, the puppy is super cute, and it's extra cute now that I've got one of my own. So um, I get, I'll probably insert a picture of him. We're going to probably go out and play a little bit in the yard and maybe go for a short walk just so he can get some of his energies out. So um, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Let me know if you have any questions, comments about uh, this particular um, area. I love that it says pasting area. Um, also, that barking is not Apollo. That's our <laughs> our neighbor's dog. So um, my, my he hasn't Apollo hasn't quite like barked. I haven't I've heard him kind of like do like a little like yip when he uh, he gets his food like he'll sit down to get dinner and he'll like get really excited and make a little like yippy noise but I haven't heard like a full-on bark from him he's a pretty like a not very vocal dog for being part husky part malamute so anywho um this is Fisher Gal by Ivy Dolomore 56 by 74 centimeters square drill canvas with 54 colors two ABs and it's going to be a whole lot of fun. I'm actually really looking forward to this amount of color blocking um, after working on Soul of the Rose. So um, it'll be a little bit of a change. I don't know when I will get to this. Most likely this fall once Summer the, with the Masters is completed. But it is high on my list to start working on because I feel like even though Ivy Dolomore does get a lot of love on um, some Facebook groups I, I belong to, a lot of people really like her. I don't see a lot of her artwork completed. I'll see some um, boxings here and there, but then I never see finishes. So I don't know if it's just, you know, people pick other artwork or have other preferences, but this is right up my alley. And I really, it's not like a flyer or a gnat in here. I really can't wait to see what else Diamond Art Club does um, with her artwork. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, have an excellent day and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel and this content with those that you think would take some value out of it. Have an excellent rest of your week and happy placing. Bye.